Well, the earthquakes really have been with us for uh, thousands of years. As far as a recorded earthquake, the largest earthquake took place in Chile. It was a magnitude 9.5 moment magnitude on May 22nd, 1960. This was a very major earthquake that had uh, many, many uh, aftershocks and so on. In the case of the U.S., uh, many people believe that the earthquakes only happen in the West Coast, in the California, and so on. But that is not really the case in the, for example, in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, one of the largest earthquakes happened in 1886. Actually, it is estimated, I believe, to be on magnitude 7, uh, moment magnitude. Um, and, and these earthquakes actually, in, at least in the case of the, in the case of the uh, U.S., I can tell you that really it's different. The type of the earthquake that happens in the in the, the west coast and the, the east coast, and that's because of the soil uh, 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 structures that we have. So, in the case of, the, for example, the west coast, uh, because of the soft soil, I mean, uh, there is a attenuation, and then uh, if you go fifty hundred miles away. Toward the east, I mean, uh, uh, pretty much the, the earthquake, for example, it dies off the effect of it. But in the case of the, for example, let's say in the east coast, because of the rock formations and so on, the the vibrations and the earthquake, uh, the waves basically travels in a long, long distance. For example, in the case of the Charleston 1800s earthquake, th there are lots of stories that, for example, the Missouri River started flowing backward, the, the, the bells in the church in Chicago, uh, and that's a long distance between Charleston, South Carolina, and, and Chicago, it started ringing, and, and so on. So um, the fact that, for example, in some locations, we, we haven't had a earthquakes for a long time doesn't mean that it cannot happen. Uh, there is a one uh, really saying that uh, the number of the uh, faults that uh, we know exist in a given area directly related to a number of the geologists living in that area. So there is a, and uh, in fact, after uh, uh, sometimes we are not aware of some uh, areas that are prone to earthquake because we don't know where the faults are. Uh, uh, some of the faults are in the surface. You can see it, some you cannot, they're blind fault blind uh, fault, and you only get to know them after the, after the earthquakes. Um, for example, in the case of the Tehran, at least there is a, very recently they have found uh, two additional major faults, one of them running through, the, there's a Mila Tower, that's a very, very tall tower that runs underneath of that. So, um, the, uh, also, uh, one interesting uh, piece of information for those of you who are interested, uh, I have a, a PhD student that is working on to develop a, uh, structures that you can build uh, on the moon and uh, that the astronaut can, uh, can live for a week, two weeks, four weeks uh, on the moon. And uh, what the uh, the basically the graduate student is doing is first of all he had to find out uh, she had to find out exactly what is the uh, what are the loads that uh, you have to design the uh, structures now how do you construct it what material you use that that's a different different uh, topics we won't touch on that but as far as the loading goes one of the loads actually is a moon quake now we call it earthquakes we have to say moon quakes. So there are actually quakes that happens on the moon, but the source is different, uh, the characteristics are different. It's a very long duration, can last a couple of hours, but it's a very low amplitude. But nevertheless, it's a continuously just a vibrating. So we do have, we do have that. Um, the other thing that I think it's very important to note is uh, not all earthquakes are the same. And 
uh, the depending on depending on the soil uh, conditions, the the damage to the structures can be significantly uh, different. Basically, even in a, the, the earthquakes, let's say the source of the earthquake, the, the waves are generated, but once the waves are traveled um, uh, through different type of soil condition, the, the, its characteristic can can change completely. So um, there are many many factors that goes into evaluating the effect of the uh, basically the uh, the earthquake.